What's up? This is Al Tariq here from SmartBikeTrainers.com. So, one who released a couple of products today. One is the Roller, which is their latest bike trainer, but due to a few hiccups in shipping and weather delays, I just got it a few days ago and was only able to get one ride on it. So, I will have a review on it up very soon once I get more rides and testing done. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel because you do not want to miss that review. But, let's talk about the other big product from Wahoo and that is the all new speed play power meter pedals the power link zero so in this video i'll talk about what you get in the box the specs how to install them and answer the most important question are they as accurate as wahoo claims if you are not familiar with the speed play pedals these are lollipop shaped pedals they offer more adjustability and lower stack height they are also dual sided so you can clip in on either side of the pedals if you've never used speed play before you're not alone uh, and don't be intimidated i also never had used speed play myself so i had to figure out how these things work the pedals comes in dual sided power measurement and single sided the dual sided retails for 1000 us dollars this is the one i have with me the dual sided measure power from both legs and also provide additional details such as left right power balance which you can display on compatible devices or apps wahoo claims the power measurement accuracy of these pedals are within one percent which is in line with the wahoo kicker bike trainers the single sided retails for 650 us dollars you will still get two pedals but only the left pedal measure power from the left leg and then doubles that number. The pedals measure power and broadcast in ANT Plus and Bluetooth and just like their Wahoo kickers, it can broadcast three simultaneous Bluetooth connections so you can pair it to multiple devices or apps using Bluetooth if you wish. The pedals are rechargeable and each pedal gets charged separately via USB-C connectors. You will get 75 hours of use out of a single charge and this is the same uh, for the single sided version, except you just charge the one pedal. You will see the pod where all the electronics are housed, blink green as they charge and solid when they are fully charged. The pedals comes in this small box, pretty neatly packaged. Inside the box, you will find the pedals, tension cleats, washers, spacers, and charging cables with charging clips. If you've never installed speed play uh, pedals before, uh, you might find installing these a bit intimidating. There are multiple layers that you need to put together. The first one is the base layer. You want to make sure the base plate fits the sole of the shoe perfectly. Wahoo included different shims which you can easily replace to find the best fit. If the base layer does not perfectly fit the sole, you might find it difficult or almost impossible to clip in something I learned the hard way. Once you install the base plate, then fit this cleat surround around the base plate. Next is the spring piece. The open side should be facing inward. Screw the assembly to the base plate using the small screws included and you want to screw them using an X pattern before tightening the screws. You can adjust the desired left right position then tighten the screws not too tight the recommended torque is two and a half these screws on the side are the limit screws to control the float or heel movement you can make adjustment to the screws to set the desired float personally i like to have very little float but i recommend to test it out to make sure you have the desired float set before adding the cleat cover so you can go and ride and see if you have the correct float then once you get it to where you like you can add the final piece which is the cleat cover and that is it you should now be able to go and clip in and start riding there is no left right label on the pedals by the way instead you will see the wahoo logo and it should read left to right so you should be able to basically read the logo as you are looking down on it from top down once the pedals are installed open the wahoo app and spin the pedals to wake them up and you should be able to pair it to the Wahoo app. Check if there is a new firmware and if there is, just go ahead and update it. Before you run the calibration, 
get on the bike and ride it for a bit, do a quick sprint or two to bed them, then hit that calibration. Also make sure to set the correct crank length before you run the calibration, otherwise your power measurement will be way off. You can also pair the pedal to your bike computer. I recommend to also run the calibration there just to make sure everything is set up correctly and all is good. Powerlink Zero pedals have auto calibration. The pedals automatically detect when no force is applied and triggers the zero offset calibration function. The bike has to be upright and stationary, which Powerlink uh, Zero detects from the accelerometer and gyroscope measurement. If these requirements are not met, Powerlink Zero will discard the result and look for the next opportunity to calibrate. Perfect scenario if you are on the trainer and take a little break to fill up your water. You can disable auto calibration in the app if you do not want that feature. Let's talk about the accuracy of these pedals. I have been using them for about two weeks or so and I was able to test at the accuracy of these on a number of indoor rides. Unfortunately, where I live, the weather here at this time of the year just does not allow for outdoor riding and I'm not gonna freeze my behind but I was able to run a number of power accuracy tests indoors using my most trusted bike trainers and smart bike. Let's start off with a ride using the kicker bike. Overall, as you see, both were very close in power measurement. The kicker bike was measuring a tiny bit higher in some sections. The power link pedals were measuring a tiny bit higher on other sections, but overall I would say both were very close. Let's take a look at another test ride here with a couple of sprints towards the end. All three power meters were very close. The power link averaged three watts higher than the kicker, which is expected from a pedal-based power meter. On the sprint section, the Waho kicker overshot by a little bit here, but the power link was moving along with my crank-based power meter, so I'm trusting the crank-based and power link here. In the first sprint, the power link responded faster than my crank-based power meter, but on the second one, the power link and crank-based were almost exactly moving together. Here's another ride I did on the Neo Smart Bike. Overall, both were very close, almost moving together. The Neo Smart Bike started to measure a tiny bit higher towards the last couple of intervals, but overall, they were within three watts of each other. Finally, let's take a look at this 15 by one minute workout I did. Again, the power was almost exact between the Wahoo Kicker 5 and Power Link pedals during each one minute interval. Looking at all 15 intervals here, the difference in power between the two was less than 1%. So overall, the pedals worked well and I'm looking forward to taking them outside and test them uh, out further once the weather get a little bit warmer here. The power link also measure and broadcast cadence and uh, that was also spot on. So my initial impression of these new power link pedals from Wahoo is positive. Wahoo was able to execute on these from the get go, which we know is not easy to do with power meters. Accuracy is seemingly spot on. The pedals are priced similar, if not less than other pedals based power meters. Uh, speed play pedals are known for being a little more expensive than other pedals. So it's good to see Wahoo keep that price in line with other power meters out there in the market today. If you are a speed play pedal owner and want to switch to a pedal based power meter, I think you'll be very happy with these. I'll continue to test these out and we'll take them outside. Uh, I'm sure not today or tomorrow, probably not even next month, but I promise you I will make it outside eventually once the temperature gets in the 60s or 70s. All right, the pedals are available to order today and I'll have links down in the description to where you can order yours. Okay, there you have it. Hope you find this video helpful and if you did, please take a quick second to give it a thumbs up and if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.